Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, I'm glad to have you. Um, just wanted to jump on here real quick and show you guys my new blender. I was in the market for a new blender because I had one that I had purchased from, I believe, Walmart. And it's been probably, well, probably about three years ago. And I just recently started using it because I've been making protein shakes lately or protein smoothies, I should say. And um, I've been kind of on that kick since I've been going to the gym and working out. I've just been trying to incorporate more protein into my diet. So the one that I had, like I said, I believe it was from Walmart. And um, it did really well as far as blending up everything. But the only thing I didn't like about it is that it did not have like an on-off switch or any type of switch at all. It, basically, you would plug it in to use it and then unplug it when you're not using it. And that was fine, but it was just kind of aggravating. So I was kind of like wanting to get a new one. So I was watching um, Jenny Jacks on YouTube. Um, I love her channel, by the way. If you guys haven't watched her, um, you should definitely check out her channel. She does a lot of home stuff, home decorations and stuff like that. So anyway, she had purchased this blender. And um, when she first show showed it, I thought that it was going to be kind of pricey. And I didn't really want to pay a lot for a blender. Um, $50 was my max that I was willing to pay for a blender. If, if I could get it for cheaper, of course, I was going to, um, definitely jump on that as well, but I did want it to work as well. So I didn't want it to be too cheap, but anyway, so she had this blender that she was showing and I thought it was the cutest thing. It looks really nice, very aesthetically pleasing. Um, so she used it. She said that she really liked it and it blended up her drink very well. So, um, I just wanted to try it. So she got it from Amazon. I went to Amazon and it was only like 30, I think $33 maybe and some change. And then, um, I believe it had like a 5% coupon code on there as well that took some off. So that was a plus. So anyway, um, I went ahead and decided to go ahead and order it. I have not used it yet. I actually did a video. I did like a small clip a few days ago, just doing an, an unboxing of it. But for some reason, I'm not sure what happened. All of that footage got deleted. So um, as you can tell, that's why it's already been unboxed. So it was inside of another box and it showed on the other box. It showed that it comes in three different colors and it showed the different colors that it comes in. But it doesn't show it on this box that I have here. It just shows, you know, that one color. But... At any rate, when you go on Amazon, you will see, like, this is a, that color is like a very soft, kind of like minty green color. I got the cream one, but it comes in the cream, the mint green color, and then like a very light pink color. So all of them are very nice. They look very nice. So it's just a matter of what fits your aesthetic, or if you don't really care about the color, I would choose either one of them, but I just wanted something that was a neutral color because my kitchen is mostly neutral. So anyway, um, let me show you guys real quick. I know you can see here what it all come, well, what all it comes with it. So you get this little silicone ice tray, which I think is really cute, and it makes the cute little small cubes, which would be perfect to put inside your cups. It comes with two of the cups here, and I love the cups because. Um, they're perfect for on the go if you wanted to make a smoothie or a shake or whatever. Um, you can just make it in here and you don't have to worry about transferring it to another cup. It has a nice lid um, that it comes with and you can carry it like that, which is also very convenient. And like I said, you get two of those and they both have the lids. And then, of course, you have the nice base here and it has the switch here. I think it has, let's see, um, it has two different settings and then I think one that where the P is, I think that's like a pulse setting, I believe. So it also comes with a little cleaning tool here as well as the instruction pamphlet. So I am going to make a smoothie Sometime today when I do that, I will definitely bring you guys back on and let you see that, see how it works, um, and I'll give you my honest review of it. So if you're in the market for a blender, um, like I said, I'll let you know how it works, and you can definitely go to Amazon and check that out. 
Hey y'all, so it's um, a little bit later and I'm, I'm going to be making my protein smoothie and I just wanted to show you guys what I'm going to put in it. I have some strawberries cut up here and this is um, probably about four small strawberries. I usually do about two strawberries in my smoothie. It just kind of depends on how big they are. But these is what I had left and I wanted to go ahead and try to use them. I may not be able to fit all of them in there though. But I wanted to use them because they're getting ready to probably be bad in another day or so. So I want to try to get rid of those. And then I have over here my um, Fair Life milk that I was telling you guys about. Um, they have this in 2%. I think they have their like fat free and then they have whole milk as well. But I like getting this because it does add some extra protein. It has 13 grams. I think you have to use... Let's see, a whole cup to get the 13 grams, and I'm sure that I'm not going to use that much. I just use a splash of that. But at any rate, you'll still, you'll still get some extra protein. This is, like I said, my favorite yogurt, the Too Good Yogurt. The ingredients are pretty clean, 80 calories, um, only three carbs, and no added sugar, and only two grams of sugar. And I'm going to use a half of a banana, maybe not even half just depends and I gotta grab my protein powder so I'm gonna get my um, blender, blender set up and get ready to mix this up and let you guys see how it turns out and also um, this is what I usually make a typical smoothie out of sometimes I do use um, spinach but I'm out of that um, drop some comments down below because I do want to try to incorporate some different fruits and veggies in my smoothies and come up with some different tastes so comment down below what you put in your smoothies your protein smoothies and that way we can kind of experiment with some other flavors I rinsed my cup out of course and I added some crushed ice I like to add that so it can be chilled so the smoothie won't really be warm tasting so you can add as little or as much ice as you like. I usually add about that much and it works for me. Um, if you're going to be a slow drinker, which I kind of sip on mine, but it still stays cool throughout the duration. But if you want more ice and you want it to stay cooler longer, definitely add more. This is the protein powder that I will be using, the Gen Pro. Um, I use different ones, but this is what I have on hand right now. So we're going to do that. And so I'm going to go ahead and start adding my ingredients and get it all mixed up for you. And this Too Good yogurt, it has, let's see, um, 12 grams of protein in it, so that's good. So I just take a spoon, scoop it all in there. If you don't want to use the whole thing, you don't have to. I just like to use it so I can get that extra protein in. Like I said, I just really start, started incorporating protein shakes into my diet just because I'm working out. And that's just a way for me to get some extra protein in. So that's that. And then we are going to put in our strawberries. Hope you guys can see that. And this cup is actually bigger than the other cup that I had for my other blender that I got rid of. And by the way, I didn't throw that away. I actually gave it to the Goodwill because, it, like I said, it still worked. I just didn't really care for it. So I'm just going to add all of those strawberries just to get rid of them. Let me grab a knife and cut my banana. So since this cup is a little bit bigger, I can probably add a little bit more ingredients than I normally would. So... I'm going to add this banana in here and we're going to do a splash of milk and a scoop of the protein powder. And this is the unflavored protein powder which I love because I don't like that taste if I can avoid that just add a little bit of milk and you can always go back and add more milk if you want it more liquidy at the end but I just try to do a little bit at first and then I'll add if I need to so I'm going to go ahead and blend this up and I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards I don't want to 
turn it on on camera because I know it's going to be probably kind of loud. So I'll be right back with you. Alright you guys, so I must say that I really love this blender. If you are on the fence about getting a new blender, definitely try the Redmond from Amazon. Only about 33 bucks. Um, it blended up very well, very quickly. I did show you a little clip of it blending, but I didn't want to keep it on there too long because it is kind of loud. Um, but not as loud as I thought it would be. So this is the final product of the smoothie. It looks really good. I didn't add any extra milk. I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, you can use this cup and drink it straight out of this cup. But I'm going to pour mine into a different cup with a straw. Um, so let me grab that real quick. So before I transfer it into my other cup, I just wanted to show you guys real quick um, how you can just add this lid if you want to drink your drink to go or take it to the gym with you. This is the lid that you can add. Like I said, it has a perfect little handle that you can use to carry and then you just pop the top to drink out of that. So it closes very well. I don't think it would leak. Let me just... Yep, very much so leak proof. So this is perfect. I really love it. Let me go ahead and transfer it over into my other cup and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to pour my drink into this little Starbucks cup. And I got this a few weeks ago from Starbucks. It was only like $5. Um, and it's plastic. comes with a cute little straw and a lid. Um, and like I said, it was only $5. And I like it because... Um, for one, it was only $5. That was the best part. But also, um, they change colors, and I think they have them, they change different colors. Mine changes to a pink color, and as you can see, my smoothie is already a light pink because of the strawberries. But when you pour it into the cup, it's gonna, the cup turns pink on its own, so you see how it's changing to a darker pink. And they came in all different colors. Um, they had like a lavender, um, I think pretty much all the colors that are on the straw is what colors that you can get that it changes into when you put your cold drink in it. So I'm just going to sip on this while I continue to finish out my work day. You see how that looks? That's so cute. Very pretty. And one fun fact I wanted to share with you guys is I do not care for bananas at all. I don't like to eat like a banana by itself, but I do like the flavor so I can eat like a banana muffin or I can put it in the smoothie. I don't mind the flavor, something about the texture that I don't really care for. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I don't know who else may be that way, but um, anyway, I'm going to enjoy this smoothie and like I said, it has all the protein in it, so it keeps you full for quite some time. And I was going to do a what I eat in a day with you guys, but I really have been kind of off. I hadn't really been um, eating like I haven't did like a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to have for dinner, but I'm just going to enjoy this for my lunch. So I may just incorporate a few snacks that I've been loving here lately that are kind of semi-healthy and share with you a couple of protein bars that I like as well. So whenever I get ready... To eat a snack, I will make something quick and then I'll show you a couple of other snacks that I enjoy. Okay, guys, so I'm back and I just wanted to show you guys um, some of the snacks that I like to eat. They're not the best, but they're, I would say, semi healthy snacks. So we're going to start with the protein bars that I like. Now, this is one of my favorites. Um, it has 13 grams of protein in it. And like I said, it's probably not the best protein bar that you can get. But I don't like the ones that have uh, too much protein because to me they taste really um, gritty and chalky. And I don't like that taste. And with me, I have to actually like something in order to be able to eat it. I don't want to just eat something just because it's healthy. Um, not meaning it like that, but you know what I mean. So I really enjoyed that one. And they have different flavors. My favorite, I've only tried the um, peanut butter fudge, which is my favorite one. And I've tried a, a little taste of the chocolate one a friend of mine had. It's like a double chocolate. And I like it, but I prefer something other than just plain chocolate. I like kind of a mixture. So I love the peanut butter and chocolate because it has a nice little contrast to it. Um, this is another one of my favorites. This one has 10 grams of protein 
and they have a lot of different flavors in this as well um, they have a really good blueberry one um, this is my favorite this is the peanut butter dark chocolate 10 grams of protein and again not the best but I like that one just to get a little protein in so I've been really focusing on getting a lot of protein in since I've been going to the gym because I know that's very important so I've been really trying to find stuff that had um, protein in it so that I can kind of incorporate that into my diet throughout the day um, I do like to snack on fruit I have some plums here nectarines which are my favorite that or either a peach and I have apples as well I like to either eat those plain or sometimes I will add peanut butter to it and I don't know about you guys but I've never really been a big fan of peanut butter but I've gotten more into it here lately I've really been liking it so um, also these are the whisk they're just like a little cheese snack 12 grams of protein and one carb um, they're okay I mean I can eat them but it's not my favorite snack this is the Asiago and pepper jack they have different flavors but again to me they're just okay I don't really I'm not a fan but I can definitely eat them you know just for a nice little snack and to add some extra protein and I also like to snack on these little small cucumbers um, sometimes I'll just put a little salt and pepper on them or you can put some vinegar if you like that taste or dip them in a little bit of ranch um, so I love those and sometimes I will do carrots too I don't have any of those right now and then I have this little cheese it's just a little uh, cheddar cheese um, snack and this is just the food line brand so I like to snack on that from time to time as well as just the string cheese the string cheese is actually my favorite um, then I love pickles I don't eat pickles that often but I do love them um, this one I probably am going to end up throwing out because I wanted to try something different because I kind of like spicy foods but these are the jalapeno and they're a little too spicy for my liking so I know that I'm not going to eat those so I'll probably throw those out or see if I can find somebody who may want them and one of my other favorite snacks is the skinny pop so I get the variety pack from Sam's and it comes with uh, white cheddar the regular and the sweet and salty I don't have any more of the white cheddar but all of them are really good and I used to not be a big fan of this the kettle corn but I do like this um, one so if you um, like kettle corn you probably love this one and those are very low in carbs as well now the sweet and salty I think that one yeah it has 14 grams of carbs I think this is the highest one and the the white cheddar and the regular are lower because this one only has eight carbs and I think the cheddar may have eight or ten I'm not sure um, but even though it has carbs in it it's still lower than I believe if you eat chips or whatever and then one of other thing I do like to snack on peanuts and of course I do know that the raw unsalted nuts would be best but I like a little salty taste so I get these from Sam's as well I don't feel real bad about eating these because they're, they're a very small pack it's just a one ounce so it's not a lot and I don't eat these every day just something to snack on here and there so I really like those and this is something new that I actually got from Target about a week or so ago and they have a lot of different trail mixes but this one kind of caught my eye this has cashews coconut macaroon flavored almonds regular almonds semi-sweet chocolate chunks and dried coconut and I've never really been a huge fan of coconut but I've gotten into it a little bit more here so lately but this is a good little snack and now it it um, does have so it's 160 calories and it does have 12 carbs and then it has some sugar and stuff there too but to me if you eat something like this if you don't eat it often and if you don't overindulge you'll be fine the recommended serving size is three tablespoons and when I eat it I just usually eat just a small very small portion so it's probably not even a serving so I don't feel bad about that so I'm not on keto or anything like that but I am trying to just kinda do a little bit lower carbs and watch my carb intake because I know that would help in the weight loss process so these are some of the snacks that I'm enjoying right now drop a comment down below and let me know what snacks you're eating because you may be able to give me some other ideas so yeah and I'm gonna hop off here and I will catch you guys a little bit later today guys I just wanted to hop back on here real quick and close out the video but um, before I do that I just wanted to show you guys a couple of new pieces that I purchased for the dining room so um, I purchased the two gold round 
candle holders here from home goods I think they were $24.99 each now I don't mind the candle because I know it's too small I ordered from Amazon and those are like a three inch size um, so I didn't really know what size to get but I do realize those are a little on the smaller side so I'm gonna order some larger ones and replace those as soon as they come in but other than that I really like those I think those are a perfect addition to the shelves let me know what you guys think and also I um, purchased the greenery that's in this black vase on the table I purchased that from Target um, now it's two stems and they're pretty full um, I was looking to get three but they only had two at the Target I went to um, which I think two looks pretty good as well so I may just leave it as is or I may pick up another piece if they have it next time I go on Target um, but again they were five dollars each and I think it looks really nice on the table let me know what you guys think and again comment down below some of your smoothie or protein shake recipes I would love to hear some of those and try them possibly um, just to try something different and also thank you guys so much for tuning in and liking comment and subscribing to my channel I'm currently at 49 subscribers once I get to 100 I am definitely going to do a small giveaway just to show my appreciation to you guys that have been here from the start I really appreciate you guys so yeah so this is the new addition to the dining room and I'm gonna go ahead and close out the video here thank you guys so much again for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one